secure, but I just can't really move it. So what I need? Yeah, there we go, Sim. Even now, after all this time, I still have the same nightmare. Driving, seemingly endless roads, roads that are endless, endless roads, to the MOT, to the garage. I mean, it's always, it's always a nervous time, isn't it? Because you worry about the money and the finances, but I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known. I have to remind myself I was a victim. I remember that day. I remember it well, because I had really good hair. But still, I, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. Today was a, not a good day, it was a, the opposite of a good day, it was a, a bad day. As I pulled away really slowly from my drive, I, uh, I just had a, a sinking feeling in my stomach. And uh, I, I guess I should have listened to my stomach. See, this time we, we were trying somewhere different because we had, we had issues the past couple of years with the MOT. But uh, I didn't do the research. I, I should have looked more thoroughly online, asked around. You know, it's always best to, to get a second opinion or any opinion other than my own. Yeah. Hindsight, huh? I remember when I got there, they were they were making all the right sounds, but uh, as we later found out, when one of their employees sent us this footage, you know, they heard our story. Uh, you know, they they read about it. In the, in the local paper and they felt compelled to, to help out so they sent us this footage of of these three criminals working on the car now this isn't our car uh, I don't know if that's clear or not this was the car they gave us when they told us that our car spontaneously combusted so they said that they'd give us an upgrade a better car but uh, it, it wasn't a better car not really um, so you, you can see there in the middle You've got the boss in the blue trousers. He, he, from this footage, he just appears to be inebriated. I mean, he can barely walk. He stumbles everywhere. And the other two, they look industrious, but I don't think I have my doubts as to their competency. If I'm, if I'm being totally honest. Now this this next footage I, I I call the Hasselhoff footage. This is this is the owner of the company. Again, he's completely uh, drunk. Uh, I mean, he he can't even hold his tools. Uh, he can't walk. He, he crawls along. Uh, it's just uh, it's shocking. There's there's no no such no no regard for health and safety. Um, I mean, like, she's using a saw. I mean, it looks like it was almost on him, but he doesn't care. He grabs the wrong end because obviously, well, he's drunk. He's, uh, and I, I, yeah. I think the, the footage speaks uh, speaks for itself. It's, it's, it's painful to watch, to be honest.
they called me back in and and said to, to come you know try the car out and uh again uh their employee they got the footage of, of that as well and uh even now it's it's tough to, it's a tough watch and, and I, i've seen shinner's list and the penis but this is this is tough <laughs> Clearly, more than suitable, but uh, at this stage, with my previous car reduced to ashes, what choice did I have? So uh, off I went, and that that was the hardest journey of my life, and I've been on some tough journeys. I got stuck in traffic once on the way to the local Nissa, and uh, yeah, that was tough. But this was, yeah, it was almost bad. maybe worse, probably worse because of the car very small, small car and I pulled into the drive and uh, well this is where it already went downhill when, when I got home and uh, had to you know, face my family and, and I felt like a failure, I felt like I failed, you know, like a, like a failure. Maria, come look at this car. And you can see my wife, my ex-wife. I didn't realise then that when she pushed the car away, she was pushing me away. And this is them. These are the three people who ruin my life. Don't make my mistakes. Make other mistakes, but not my mistakes. Guarding the car, that was a mistake that I made, but don't make it yourselves. If you can help it. Thank you for hearing my story. <laughs>